This is James Fox with another ZipBooks tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a new invoice for your customer. Now, when you sell goods or services to your customer, it's important that you send that customer an invoice so that the customer can be informed of what they purchased, how much it's going to cost, and the time frame in which your company expects to be paid. Sending an invoice to your customer in a timely manner is the lifeblood of how your company gets paid. And if you do not send invoices in a timely and efficient manner, that could jeopardize the payments that you are to receive and put your company at risk for failure. So to create a new invoice, click on the Invoices tab here. Next, click on the New Invoices link here. Now the first thing we're going to do is create a title for the invoice. And since we are creating an invoice, the title is simply going to be Invoice. Now we're going to choose which customer to send the invoice to. You can simply click on the drop down arrow here to show the list of customers in your database. When you locate your customer, simply click it. Now when you choose your customer, an invoice number will automatically populate in the invoice number field. If you need to change that number, you can simply delete the number and type in your own number. Next is the date field. If you need to change the date on the invoice, you can do so by clicking on the date that's already there. A calendar will appear and you can choose a different date if you need to. Now if the customer has sent a purchase order for your goods or services, enter that purchase order number in this field here. Next, you're going to see two line items. The first one is task. The second one is simply item. If you performed a task for the customer, enter the name of the task in the task field. If you sold an item to the customer, enter the name of the item in the item field. For this tutorial, I'm going to enter a task for this customer. The next column is for notes, or if you sold an item, the next column is for a description. Both of these fields are optional, so enter in any information that you think is necessary. Now the next column is for the rate, because I'm working on a task. So in this column, I'm going to enter in the hourly rate, but if you sold an item to the customer, enter in the price for the item in the price column. Next is the hours column. I'm going to enter the amount of hours that was worked on that task, but if you sold an item, enter the quantity of that item in the quantity column. I will show you how to set up the tax column in a later lesson. The next field is the terms field. This is where you indicate to your customer the time frame in which your company expects payment from your customer. In this example, I'll simply use net 30. And when you type in net 30 or net 15 or net 10, ZipBooks will automatically detect the date for which the payment is due. And the last field is for notes. If you want to enter in some notes for your customer, you can do that here. Once you've entered in all of the information, click Save Invoice. And that is how you create a new invoice for your customer. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, my name is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.